Hey everybody, Mark here with the Apple Tech on Toy Videos, and today I'm going to do the app review on X Mirage. Let's get started. What this app does is it lets you mirror the screen of your iDevice on your Mac computer. So once you launch the app, this is the page you get. You can go through on how to mirror it. The next tab gives you some settings, some optimization, optimized AirPlay display. You can name your AirPlay name, password, protect it, and all that stuff. And then we can learn about it. So let's close that out. And on the top menu bar, we have our status bar menu item thing where we get some other options. So I'm going to show you how to mirror it first. So all you have to do is just unlock your eye device and slide up into control center. And in AirPlay, we'll see our MacBook 2. You can turn on mirroring, which is what we'll do here. We can also mirror some stuff like music and videos. So now our device's screen is mirrored on the computer and I can just scroll around with my finger and you can see that those changes are automatically put on the computer. If you want to mirror gameplay, for example, this is a great option. I'll get into some gameplay a little bit later, but right now I'm just going to test responsiveness. So as you can see, this is our window. We can close our connection. We can record our screen, which is going to be great if you're a app reviewer and we have some media controls down below. So like I said, we can record our screen. It'll look perfect and it'd be really great for some nice app reviews. So this is going to be my go-to application for reviewing that stuff. So as you can see, I'm just opening up the IP dash software site and we can go to our apps. We can click on hide. And as you can see, it's pretty responsive. And when we get to some gameplay, I did notice that it's a little bit lagging. And I have this other app, Air Server, and I did notice that Air Server seems to be a little more responsive than this one. I noticed that there's a little more freezing in this app, so that's just something they could fix. So now let's go on to some gameplay. And like I said, you don't have to mirror your device only. You can choose to um, send music directly to your speakers so they don't have to play out of your phone speakers or your iPad speakers. And if you're in your Photos app, you can choose to mirror photos and videos. And in the YouTube app, you can also mirror that video. So you get a whole bunch of different options. So as you saw right there, the doodle jump was a little choppy. And so this is something you can work out. They'll probably need to work out, but still, that's something that's nice. So we can mirror multiple displays too. So I have my iPhone. And then I have my iPad. So overall, I love this app. It's great for mirroring your display. And if you're an app reviewer, this is the app you need because you can record your screen. It's great for that. However, the mirroring isn't exactly smooth as some of the other apps such as Air Server. So that can be worked out, but depending on your Wi-Fi connection, mine's not that great. So depending on your connection, it may be better. Also, it runs in your menu bar and the app in the dock, and there's no option to remove that dock icon. So that's just a saying they could fix in the future. But overall, it's a great app. If you like this app for yourself, you can download it with the link in the description below. Also, if you want a chance to get this for free, you can subscribe so you don't miss a future giveaway. And if you like this video, be sure to click that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.